Howdy folks, welcome to the Wild West Crypto Show Daily Update brought to you by Drive America and Omega. Good guys in the home and auto warranty business. And Brent, you know, it's kind of good to be back in the saddle. We were out a little bit last yep, week. And yep. folks get to see a lot of what that was about. And you'll find out it's not as puzzling as you may have thought it was. <laughs> what market's doing, man? I see Well, red. I'll tell you what. It's nothing but red. We're throwing the baby out with bathwater. You know, I, I praised the markets at the end of last week because it looked like they were starting to show discernment. Now we're just killing everybody. <laughs> not killing them that bad. Bitcoin's down 391. That puts it at uh, 20,440. Forty-eight. So, but here's what I like. It came down, bounced off that Bollinger band. We're down at the kind of moving average. Ideally, it would show great strength if we started to move up from here and push that Bollinger band up. But you know, great strength in exactly what you look at that chart and get. And so, it wouldn't surprise me if we uh, come back into the nineteen five range, nineteen six range. Uh, but here again. For those of us that are investing, that's really no difference. Buy a little, buy a little, buy a little. Uh, acquire through here. Uh, for you traders, that might be enough that some of y'all might actually uh, play with some of that. But look how those Bollinger Bands are moving sideways. Uh, that generally, and the market's moving kind of sideways with it. And that usually is a period where you're going to do that for a little bit of while. And up here, we decided that we we're going to go ahead and go lower, and that's what we did. I'm hoping that up here, we uh, futz around here, and then we go ahead and, and go higher from there. Overall markets at 888, $888 uh, billion. The Dow is off half a percent. S&P is off 1.15%. NDX is off 2%. Russell 2000 uh, is down 191. And there you can see the Russell is ahead of these others. It came all the way from lower back to upper and back moved back down to that average. You know, the thing you got to remember is, is nothing goes straight up and nothing goes straight down. And it takes some of that action to get people to do certain things that you need them to do. Overall gold's off 825, puts it at 1773, uh, excuse me, 1733. And, and there, there's the chart of that. Uh, doesn't make hold and gold look real smart right now, but there's a lot of people on TV telling you about that. Uh, silver's uh, off 19 cents. But here, look at the crude. <laughs> you know, we came down, we dipped below that 100. You know, I think we're starting to see some relief at the pump. You know, we're now moving back up toward that upper Bollinger Band, excuse me, moving average. And and I hope we go ahead and continue that trend down. Uh, and, and that will help everything out there. Future's doing what you'd expect given the action. We do have a positive here. Ethereum is up 28, 20, excuse me, down 28, 25. The positive is links up 11 cents. Cardano's down a penny and a half, four cents down for Polkadot. Litecoin's down a buck 59. XRP is basically flat, but it's 0.62%. XLM's down 2.22. Theta's down 2.38, being down uh, 2.8 cents. Hex is down 0.95%, just a smidge. Carnomaly's down 466. And of the dog wars, well, guess what? Uh, SHIB is beating Doge only because it's down 4.99%. Doge is down 527 there you go. So, folks, coming off the weekend, we talk about this. You never know what's going to happen. So, you got to, you know, you got to be saddled up and also, uh, you know, be wearing your life jacket because you never know quite where it's going to go. So, listen to this. You know, Bitcoin ETS, we've been talking about this. Regardless of where the market is, smart investors are going to go in and see opportunities. But it doesn't look like our SEC is going to give us much of a light. They're sitting there saying, uh, Grayscale's chief legal officer, said that he's been back and forth and back and forth, and they're in this fight with the SEC. And finally, he gets down to him and he says, look, when do you guys think you will actually approve this? And they said, well, there's no way we can tell. I mean, you know, it could be six months to six years, but let's say, you know, probably a couple of years. It's like, it's like getting a permit in Kerrville. <laughs> That's right. We That's don't right. rightly know when we're going to ever do that. Yeah, or if we'll do that. And it's, you know, it, it's it's really kind of a bit of a travesty for the U.S. There are ETFs in other places. And what's happening is people are finding, investors are finding ways to get their money into this marketplace with or without the SEC. And as a result of that, it doesn't bode well for all the rest of the market. Those individuals are smart. Kudos to them. But I, I just, I, I can't believe, well, yes, I can. If you look at everything our federal government's doing, 
this is no surprise. <laughs> you know? So uh, listen to this. And while the U.S. is over here saying no, 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 because we have to protect our people, but we're not going to protect them from high rising gas prices. Oh, that is, yeah. was that a Freudian slip? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, the fifth largest retail bank in Switzerland will allow its over 2 million customers to buy, sell, and hold Bitcoin by 2024. Post Finance is not only leading the Swiss retail bank, but it is also banking arm of their post office. And the bank already partners with Swiss, quote, and other cryptocurrency services. So it's a natural progression for us to allow them to hold Bitcoin. Our clients want direct access to this market through their house bank. And given the growing institutionalization of cryptocurrencies in the last 18 months, this is an ideal time to enter the market. You know, Brent, what that what occurs to me is is maybe our regulators ought to read this article. <laughs> you know, because no, they're not really interested in knowledge. They're only interested in control. So. <laughs> That's it. That's it. I, folks, I have to tell you, just came back from the, uh, you'll see a bunch of this stuff, came back from the Metaverse Jigsaw Puzzle world conference and and uh, in las vegas and who would think that the other the two should ever meet but the alex the proprietor of this the guy who put on this conference out there and mixed it with the metaverse conference is saying look all these jigsaw puzzle folks out there they make artwork a bunch of these folks do they create their own jigsaw puzzles and they cut them up in little bitty pieces which is a fractionalized nft oh, yeah. Yeah. and why not take these things and make nfts out of them and then we get to bridge both of it it was a great conference it'll yeah. be a better my, one my next wife year. and daughter are playing jigsaw puzzles all the time oh, do they really? over covid and all this over the last couple of years since there's always one on the table oh yeah they said it's over, up over 800 percent folks i tell you what jigsaw puzzles i do are like the six pieces with the duck on it you know and that's about as far as i can get but anyway we'll see you again tomorrow on the wild west crypto show